So everyone, this is the start of review advent calendar. So there were a lot of people participating this time around. And as you may have noticed from the title in this episode specifically, we're going to talk about, or really going to review, one of actually my favorite songs, and I can't believe it was suggested to be reviewed in this feature, because that's a really awesome song. You can see from my grain that I love this song, and I'm really anticipating talking about it to you, and... Uh, Basically saying how I, how much I love this franchise, how much I love this Say You in specific, and how this is one of the most underrated songs that were released in the past couple of years. And, well, we're going to listen to it together, if you stick around for the whole video. So let's start this review and put these headphones on. So the song that I'm going to review today is Reiji Amaha with Turn Around Again. And this song is performed by Takuya Sato. For many people, this is more than enough to know that this song is going to be good. If you're not aware who is Takuya Sato or who is Reiji Amaha or what is Rockdown or even what is Vez Rock, then you're in for a treat because this is a franchise all about rock, but there are other sides to rock music, such as electronic rock, and that's a little bit of what we get in this song. So let's kick off this review. Mm, that's the intro. As you can already notice, this is a big EDM song made for the dance floor. It is all about its big, loud synths that are creating a really ample atmosphere or a soundscape that is really wide and made for you to actually want to join in and dance along and really lose yourself in this sound. And this is actually because the song was created by a DJ which is something really different from the the usual composers that work with Vezrock. This time around, it was a DJ, a professional DJ that worked with Reggie Yamaha's song Turn Around Again to make sure that this party vibe was really as truthful as it could get. It really could be a song that would be playing on a, a live uh, venue and you wouldn't even notice that this was a song performed by a 2D character. So let's continue to check this song. Really good, or the really one of the awesome things in this performance is how Takuya Sato is really technical in this performance. Of course, you will be saying, but he is also or he is always technical. Okay, fair point. He is always technical. However, he doesn't get m many opportunities to showcase how technical he can be. He does that with Trigger because he has the platform to do so because the group is a lot about the three members being really really good and showcasing their talents. It does a little bit with fame in the Opella franchise but that's really recent and when this song was released well people were noticing Takuya Sato but not as much as they now do because of Opella or how uh, Trigger have changed slightly their dynamic and now we can sing a whole lot in the group and have more spotlight than he had before. So for uh, Rockdown's performances, he usually doesn't stand out much because the group doesn't have that much of a lower range and the focus is usually on a higher range, but, but for a solo song he gets to do whatever he wants. He gets to be as technical as he wants. And this was actually the very first song in which fans got to listen to him performing falsetto, head voice, and doing all kinds of tricky stuff that you wouldn't usually say from a low baritone or a bass singer. So 
He is doing a whole lot that is insanely technical that you wouldn't expect from someone that has such a low voice. So uh, do stick around for the ride because this song is going to get even better with time. That's head voice in there, head voice in there by Takuya Sato. And when I listened to this song for the very first time, and I actually listened to this song upon a suggestion by one of the viewers of the Hand That Feeds HQ's YouTube channel in one of the episodes of the monthly review, and I hadn't reviewed the song up until then. I was not expecting the song to be this technical, and especially when the, the head voice appeared, I was not believing myself that I was actually listening to Takuya Sato performing in head voice. This is crazy, crazy, really. So awesome in here. Uh, and well, I'm not going to uh, speak much longer because this song is really a treat. Let's go. <laughs> So this is a big, loud, intense, passionate chorus and you have a lot of things going on in here. Of course, the main focus is those brassy scenes that are going to hit the song here and there. The loud, big, bassy synth, the lead synth that is going on in the background and makes the song almost pulsating through the beat. It's really, really bouncy. It really makes you want to dance along or at least shuffle along or whatever suits you best. This is a really, this is really that type of song that you, you will listen to. And especially if you are around my age or if you listened to a lot of the early noughties music, you will notice how reminiscent of that EDM pop of the early 2000s. It's really, really big on the synths. It's really simple if you notice the composition. That's not, there's not much going on in that composition. Aside from the two big synths and a couple of stabs going on in the background, there are a couple of layers on those synths to make those sound a bit higher or a bit lower, but that's really a technical and not, not something that you can notice on a first listen and especially not notice if you not if you're not using any equipment that is uh, as detailed to notice those kinds of things or if you do not have a trained ear so those things are details that not many people or basically anyone will notice but there's a lot of layers in there but it's mostly since then you have the baseline it's massive so there are a couple of bassy scenes and a bass line in there. The beat is also quite bassy, so you have a triplet of bass sounds uh, and you then have the fantastic vocals of Takuya Sato that do most of the job at keeping the pace, making sure the song is groovy at all times because also Takuya Sato's voice can act as another bass element to this song. Although he's using the bass or the sort of bassier vocals of his in the verses and is going a bit higher on his range in the chorus to counter it a little bit. However, one thing that you will notice when you listen to this song is that the song starts really airy, really, I would say, far away from you, almost as you are entering a venue and as you get closer to the venue, the first verse kicks in and then... Reiji Amaha approaches you. It's that approach, that initial approach that starts that dance, that uh, 
that courting almost like that um, throughout the song. You do notice how much the the character wants you and he set his eyes on you since you entered the venue and that's the vibe you get as the song kicks in the sound goes from really muffled to really clear as you get to the first verse then the first verse is really clean and however you have that idea that you are in a really spicy uh, place but when you listen to the song Reggie is quite close to you, so this is kind of an intimate uh, performance. And when you get to the chorus, that's the time for you to be dazzled by a whole lot of things. You will know better than I do which things are going to dazzle you. But for me, it's how the vocal progression and the vocals shine in this song. Everything is right about this song. You listen to the build-up. You listen to how that tension is kept under wraps and then is it's unleashed in the chorus in a really tasteful way that you can't help but to find yourself grooving to the song, wanting more, wanting more and more. So that's really, really awesome. <laughs> A really interesting beat. This song has a sort of an intermission, as you can notice by what you just heard. And this sort of intermission slash entrance to the second verse is all about its trap sound. So it is really slow, deliberately slow. And the triplets take over, the synths go to the back and are not existent at all in that part. So it's really interesting that you now have a quiet time. So the approach was already made, now you are engaging. And this is quieter, simpler and slightly more intense, however not aggressive. And you listen to this and unfold, and this is actually a really interesting dance uh, until the very end. <laughs> Gotta say that I love his confidence because turn around again, you'll be back again. So he's really confident that he's going to get you. <laughs> That's really, really, really uh, a nice touch if you pay closer attention to the song and how it is unfolding. Turn around again, you'll be back again. <laughs> Now, do pay attention to this part because the vocal side of this bridge is an insane. It's insane. I'm not going to even talk through it. <laughs> Notice how it is muffled yet again, because you are leaving and is really saying turn around again. So this is a story unfolding, this is a really cool story unfolding, a simple one, but really well told. <laughs>
now you get why I say this song is underrated, while it is so, so good. It's unbelievably good, this song. And if you enjoy pop music, if you enjoy EDM music, this is a fantastic song to listen to. And then if you enjoy really awesome voices, even more so. So while not many people do pay attention to Vez Rock, thankfully the anime series is actually pulling some people to the franchise. I still feel like this is a really underrated franchise, even in Japan. I'm not even going to say in overseas because I barely notice any fans from uh, or any fans of Vez Rock, and especially there are barely any fans of Takuya Sato out there that I know of. So it is really an awesome song, Turn Around Again, by Reiji Amaha, voiced by Takuya Sato. Takuya Sato has been one of the biggest or the most technical talents among male Sayu in the last couple of years. He's always been a good singer. He had a solo career, although not many people do know that he had a solo career when he was signed to Frontier Works. It didn't work out. And unfortunately, that's a talent that we're possibly n not ever going to listen to performing as himself, which is a pity. But... We do have character songs, and thankfully, Takuya Sato has been really active with 2D groups. Thankfully, he's getting the spotlight way that he deserves, and Turn Around Again is a really good example of that. This is a fantastic song that really doesn't go that much in line with the sound that Rockdown has, not even with the sound that the Vez Rock franchise has. But the good thing about the Vez Rock franchise is that you take rock music as the core, and then you explore everything that is connected to rock music. And when you look at it, basically almost every music genre is connected to rock music. So that's what makes this franchise quite versatile and quite interesting to check, especially if you're not that big of a rock fan, uh, such as myself, and you enjoy pop music a lot more than rock music. This franchise does have that, does offer that, and Reiji Yamaha's Turn Around Again is a good example of that. This is a fantastic song that I recommend you to check, so if you do have the time and patience, do check that song. Of course, it's not available on streaming platforms that I know of, so you will have to either purchase this song on Ototoy, or you will have to purchase the physical CD at CD Japan or Amazon Japan, so that's really tricky for you. Uh, but I hope, and hopefully this happens, that uh, the Tsuki Pro franchise picks every single group and project in within it and makes it makes the songs available to international fans, and that you can actually listen to turn around again, time and time again. Well, I believe it's all for me uh, with this review. Turn Around Again was a song suggested by Grecia, so thank you very much Gre Grecia for suggesting this song. I was not expecting it at all, really, at all. Uh, this is a song that I love a whole lot. This is a song that I feel it is underappreciated, and uh, I'm re regretful in a way that I hadn't reviewed this song earlier, when I reviewed it on, on the website. Um, but... I did it and I fell in love with this song and I can't stop listening to it. So it is really awesome to get this suggestion and especially to kick off this review Advent Calendar 2022. So thank you very much, Grecia, for the suggestion and thank you very much for watching this review. There are going to be many more reviews on this channel in the next couple of days and if you're catching these uh, really uh, actually really late there's a playlist with all the reviews in this edition as well as another uh, playlist with the reviews from last year's edition so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys soon <music>